So, after, so you're saying that, okay, that's, okay, that's true. In the short run, wages will probably be depressed for bus drivers. And then in the medium term, they'll probably rise again because you, you're, going to, you want, you're going to want to maintain a certain standard of living. So, no, sorry, in the medium run, they will fall. But in the long run, all wages will rise because you're, you want to maintain a certain standard of living. And you want, yeah, I think that's true. But I think that the fact that in the medium term, all our wages will be depressed if there was free immigration and if there was free migration. But at the end of the day, it will start rising again once we all start wanting a higher standard of living. But yeah, let me just conclude by looking at this question. So, number one, do the earnings of the top managers reflect their talent, their value to their company, um, productivity, and blah, 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 blah? No. Any objections? <laughs> I'm not going to just, <laughs> it's not going to be some like dictator saying no. <laughs> How, basically, I'm trying to say from what I've said today, the answer is quite clearly no. It might to some extent, and it might to a large extent, but it's not fully explained by their productivity or their intelligence. And it's not. Ex and I should have actually. What I would have liked to do, if I wasn't concerned about us looking selfish, is look at is do the most intelligent in our society get to be the most um, the most wealthy? Is wealth truly determined by the fact by whoever you know is most intelligent naturally and who does better at school and so on? But obviously, I didn't have time. To, I didn't really want to do that because. That's not really, that's a quite different sort of conversation. But yeah, hopefully after, hopefully after this lecture we, we can all agree that, number one, the answer is probably no. It's not, it's not determined by, um, it's determined by other factors, most, um, most prominently their influence over their political system. The, reasons, the, the reason why the US managers earn more than other rich country managers is because if you look at the composition of those in power in other rich countries, it doesn't match the, um, the hold that the managerial class have in the USA. And number two, is the third world poor because it lacks on entrepreneurs? No, definitely not. So does that mean we have to question the fact that entrepreneurialism is, a, is, is at the heart of economic dynamism? Do we have to question that? Well, maybe, because individual entrepreneurship is available in abundance, and that is not, um, as that's not led to development. And number three, a poor people. Um, well, definitely not. I wrote this wrong. Uh, <laughs> are poor people paid more than they should be? No, they're not. I mean, are uh, rich people? Uh, or poor. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, we've, we talked about the idea of ram and spend, and we know that what's actually protecting our position, what actually means that we live so comfortably, is because of the immigration control. So yeah, have we probed the rich? Yes, we have. But for a lot of us, we've been probing ourselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for, a lot of, for, a lot, for a lot of this, we've been probing people similar to us. So, so yeah, well, I think I think we we can understand we can understand that you know the market doesn't have an explanation for a lot of things. So thank you all for coming and okay. continue probing. Look, one question. <laughs> can I? Um, yeah. So in third world countries, yeah, the entrepreneurs presumably are hampered by the fact that there's very few people with lots of ready cash they can spend on new products. Oh, yeah, that's, that is true. That is true. But again, yeah, that is true. But, but that wasn't really a... But I, I, I was actually comparing US managers. I looked at only rich countries, so I never said, why are US managers any more than managers in Bangladesh? I'm saying, why are US managers... about the poor, presumably when you're going poor countries, third world countries, that means poor countries, right? Yeah, what, which one are you talking about? No, you said there's... Uh, why is the... Third world poor because it lacks entrepreneurs. Yeah. I say, well, I, I, one of my answers would be no, it, it lacks demand. Well, it lacks, it lacks, it lacks the wealth to grow. Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's a, that is a fair response to that question. As long as we, we agree with it, it's no. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Thank you. Keep probing. That's my slogan. Keep probing. Thank you.